Welcome back to the edgy early 2000s. Welcome back to Twiggy Saves the World. Twiggy Saves the World from Marilyn Manson, apparently. Yeah, the Jesus Christ superstar or whatever he was called. Uh, look in his leather thong and all that stuff. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, beautiful people and all that Marilyn Manson references I can't yeah. think off the top of my head. Oh, look at him. He's waggling his eyebrows. Okay, Marilyn Manson has a spaceship. That's worrying. Ah, <laughs> uh, and here we are. Level one of, uh... Marilyn's castle, apparently. <laughs> Marilyn's <laughs> castle. It's sort of like Eureka's asshole, but... <laughs> Eureka's, Eureka's castle? Eureka's castle. Eureka's Investor castle, not, not Eureka's asshole. That's the porn version. <laughs> I don't know if there's a porn version of Eureka's Castle, but I'm pretty sure that's what it'd be called. Well, here we are in level one of uh, Marilyn's Asshole. <laughs> uh. This this is the part where I think Mega Man 1 lost a lot of people when they went back to play it, because, or when they played it, because the Wily levels are so fucking hard mm -hmm. in this, and they're very unforgiving. So many rage quits. Out of the way. And there's there's a there's a trick to them, but it's that's the thing is there's tricks to them, but they no. Oh. All right. Nope, fucked it up. It's about timing. It is all about timing. That'll do. That will see us through. Somewhere out there. Alright. Oh, it gives me anxiety every time. Oh yeah. I like the look of this level, though. I think this is way better than uh, the original color scheme. Yeah, I like the blue and green. It's, yeah, it's it's very colorful. It's very vibrant, you know? Yeah, that's the word, vibrant. Take that. Oh, oh, here we go again. Fuck. Okay. That was pretty fucking tricky, not gonna lie. That's just a cheap shot that they automatically get on you. Yep, every single time. A flicker warning here, folks. Ow! Ow! Ah, oh, you fuck faces. Missed me. So, yeah, I really hate Wily's levels, especially uh, level one. Mm -hmm. Because oh, the boss in this level is such an asshole. But, um, this might seem a little uncouth, folks. We are going to cheat the boss. <laughs> Why stop now? I was going to say, yeah, we've been pretty cheap this whole run. So, uh, why not? Besides, uh, if you're new to Mega Man, you might learn something here. Oh, damn it. That was the double one. I should have known. I should have known. Should have known better. Yes, if you just keep pausing the game and unpausing it as the beam is passing through his eye, yeah, it will continue hitting him each time. It's a bolt cutter. It's a dirty fucking trick, but <laughs> one I am willing to resort to. Hey, if it works, it works. That boss is a motherfucker. Hey, I, if you're wondering, yes, I can beat him legit. In fact, um... One of our earliest, uh, one of our early episodes, like back in the, wow, in the, in the pre, 
before we even had title cards yeah. days, uh, was Mega Man. And if you want to see some really great fucking Mega Man gameplay, folks, go back and watch that. Ooh. It was back when I was on top of my fucking game. I just won the uh, Mega Man uh, challenge. And I was really fucking good at Mega Man. Uh, let's see. Am I gonna need ice? Am I gonna need... I don't think... Uh, oh, yeah... I'll get electricity. But no time for that now. Woo! Through the floor. We gotta fight Jonathan Davis all over again. You corny motherfucker. Still, though, better than Fred Durst. <laughs> By a long shot. I Scotland! <laughs> Again, I can't do accents today, folks. Just run with it. Shit. And if any of you are wondering, yes, I did do a sequel to Twiggy Saves the World. Uh, sadly, I never finished it. Oh. It was kind of cool, though. I only had one level done, and it was, um... Oh, what do I need? I want to refill that. That is critical that I refill that. And I'm going to need some scissors. Because we're fighting Raiden! I snipped his balls. Damn straight. We neutered the God of Useless. God of Useless. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No. 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 So, yeah, it's gonna get a little hairy a little? <laughs> from here on. Oh, fuck. I'm grinding my fingers right now. Fuck my donkey. Okay. Hee-haw. Oh, dear. All right, well... Come on. There. All right, we made it. All right, I think I want electricity down here. But yeah, if you want to see some really good Mega Man action, whew, yeah, watch watch our earlier video on Mega Man. I was good. I'm nowhere nearly as good as I was back then, though. Not as good as your once was, but nah. your once as you ever was? Exactly. I'm just I'm just way out of practice. Back then, I mean, God, when I was preparing for the Mega Man tournament, I would just randomly pick bosses. And I would try to beat their I would try to beat them with no power-ups. Ow! Which hey, if you're ever wondering how to get good at Mega Man folks, uh, that's how you do it. <laughs> Play it a lot? Yeah, you just, you boot it up every now and then, and you just pick a boss at random and say, okay, well, we're going to fight this boss, and try to do it without any special weapons or stuff like that. Wow, okay, fuck that one up. Take two. There we go. That's just wishful thinking right there. But we do have five guys, so there's a chance that we can make it. Let me find out. Ooh, we need that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mind if I does. Oh shit. Oh, it's. I good. did not. Okay. I didn't see this coming. I thought we had some more bullshit to get through. Nope. We're at the uh, 1970s disco room. Oh man. We have to fight imposter Twiggy. I have the cuter dress. No, I have the cuter dress. Ow! See, the trick is with this imposter Twiggy. Uh, gotcha. You got to use your circular thing on your. Um, you're not trying to hit him with the fireball. You're trying to get him with the shield around the fireball. Right. 
You're like, can't touch me, can't touch me. And that will get him in a loop where it's hard for him to hit you. It's... Whew. We're actually cruising pretty through this game pretty good. I don't shoot this. It's true. I see the uh, dull gray level. All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. Oh. playing Mega Man too long. I keep thinking every time we jump in a pit, there's going to be spikes at the bottom. <laughs> Alright, well. Now time for this part. Whee! Some color! Come on, airplanes. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, I fucked that up, too. We need that. And that. Alright. Name of the game is just... Just make it. <laughs> this boss at the end of this is... Not impossible, but harder... Harder than he should be sometimes. I'll put it that way, folks. Ah. And I'm gonna need full health. And yeah, it's just. Eh. How long is this hallway? Oh, that long. Yeah, okay. we're we're just about there. Okay, there we go. Oh, guts man. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say the the catch is, is that you don't want to use oh, that okay. on him just just at first. I remember this. He goes faster and faster. Yep. That's what he does. I'm only a deal. Use an E-Tank, but there are no e -tanks. Yeah, I know. That's that's the catch with Mega Man 1. It's, uh, it's get good, fucker. Got him! Got him! Okay! <laughs> What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. So, hey, wow. First try. Nice. Now we're to the whitest of all levels. Oh, of course the one-up goes right in the friggin' space. Why yeah. not? It's okay. We've got like five guys right now. we got so many free guys, it's not funny. Mm, five guys. I could go for a burger rave on now. Oh, this is... All the color has gone out of our lives. Let's take a... I'm certain I was going for something along that when I when I came up with this level. Ah, oh, there's the, the Marilyn Manson straight to hell symbols. Mm -hmm. The uh, S, or uh, the Z arrow, I used to call it. I'd see it and be like, hey, it's the Z arrow. Then like, Marilyn Manson, I'd be like, oh, he's a bad guy. Everybody hates him. <laughs> Everybody's he's a bad guy. <laughs> Uh, don't listen to Marilyn Manson, he's a dick. <laughs> I was in high school when that went down. That whole Marilyn Manson is the devil and you shouldn't listen to him because he corrupts our kids and causes all sorts of horrible things. That era. That was, uh, that was funnily enough the only time ever growing up. My mother actually uh, would not allow me to listen to, um, to a band. Really? Yeah. Uh, it was the it was the only band ever that my mother's like you're not listening to Marilyn Manson, which was so weird because like my my parents were very not like I mean Jesus Christ they let me watch all sorts of fucking horror movies and shit when I was a kid, but I, it was just so bizarre to hear them be all like no 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 you can't you can't listen to this guy he's he's too <laughs> he's too scary. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I think it's... The 
early 2000s was a very weird time. It was a very strange time. Ah, Mr. T. Fuck. Oh, good. We got him. We didn't take too much damage from him, too, and that's the important thing. Because this battle just fucking blows. Ah. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev. All right. Lightning. <sighs> this is actually really, really... Intense, folks, because... Nope. We're probably fucked now. God damn it. I mean, we could try to beat... Oh, gee, this is going to be so fucking tough. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. We don't have to start from the very beginning. We have to start from the beginning of these jabronis, but... Mm. Well, it's not the beginning, beginning. A lot of this banks on how much damage you can avoid taking each fight. Mm -hmm. The f The Mikhail Gorbachev fight, it's just... I've never been good at Fireman. So, trying to avoid his attacks, it's just about impossible for me. Right. And the Iceman battle is... You gotta have an extremely well-timed jump on that. It's not impossible, don't get me wrong. I can do it. Ah, fuck! And then you get Andre the Giant, which is just a fucking wild card. Because honestly, this is one of those boss battles where it's almost... You almost don't want to use the bombs on him because... Damn it. This, exactly, he puts you into the fucking corner. Sometimes, sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he is on the other side of the fucking room and you're fine. Do I have to pity you? Right now, it's... Fireman. Try to run for me? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't even think I can make it through uh, Iceman now. God, why am I sucking all of a sudden? Karma. Well, I got it that time. God, I hate to use the fucking bombs on him. Because he's so unpredictable in this form. Got him. All right. Woohoo! <sighs> now, what do we need? <laughs> uh, we need fire. We need fire in the worst fucking way. This is a tough battle even without the fire. We have some guys though, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take him with the classic weapon, and uh, this will give us a chance to get good. I have beaten him without the special weapon before, folks. Again, watch that early video that we did back in the day. I mean, the quality is so crap, but wow, the gameplay was fucking spot on. And down we go. All right. 
Coming for you. Alright, that let us recharge some of what we needed. Hey Manson, I'm here! How's that acting career working out for you? Ha! It's funny because back then, like, Marilyn Manson was considered like this, like, glam rock genius, you know, and amazing artist, but like, level two. Nowadays, he's just kind of like this, oh, sad sellout. <laughs> Alright, how many guys do we have left? Two. We're not doing terrible. We're not doing terrible. In fact... I think we've got enough to take them this time. Full tank. I'm feeling it, folks. I'm feeling it. You feel it all, I feel it all. I think someone with a leather thong is going down. Who's the star of the dope show? You are not the star of the dope show. We're the stars of the dope show because we're so dope. your rebel friends now. This is about there. Damn it. Got him! Oh, Marilyn Manson, what what happened, bud? What? You were on top of the world. The 2000s <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh, I did the Resident Evil soundtrack and then nobody cared about me no more. Music got too corporate, and everybody was listening to mumble rap. And then I got cancelled. <laughs> ah. All right. Oh, man. Twiggy, Twiggy has ended... Oh, go ahead. Twiggy has ended the satanic lyrics of Manson and returned peace to the world. Oh, man. Those satanic lyrics. Everyone has returned to normal, and the evil Manson has disappeared. Or has he? I think I wrote like a little story for this that was like a uh, game modified by Tom Foolery. Yes. Uh, I wonder who that could have been. Uh. Uh, Tom Collins. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny because um, back in the day, uh, or no, I, I I wrote a story for this that was essentially um, uh, Marilyn Manson was using his satanic lyrics to brainwash all these people into helping him conquer the world. That's why we had Andre the Giant and Mikhail Gorbachev and all that. Tom Pond, thank you. It was kind of a it was a kind of a tongue in cheek cheek joke that like, oh, uh, Marilyn Manson's music is so influential it'll make kids kill themselves. Yeah, that that Christian moral panic. Thing. Yeah, exactly. So it was kind of taking the piss out of that, and I don't know. It was funny to me at the time when I was uh, you know in my twenties. It was funny 20 years ago, folks. Chen Kakora Manam. Yuki Chan's Papa. Oh, man. Everything was quiet in the city. And there's Rob Zombie. Is that Cherry Lynn Moon? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, uh, that's Twiggy Saves the World, folks. My, uh, my second attempt at a ROM hack. Oh, it's actually quite nice. I was gonna say it kind of holds up. It's not too bad. I kind of like it. It um. The colors are great. The palettes are great. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, we get a little flickering every now and then, but it's a ROM. So. It's yeah, it's a ROM. It's it's being run on the most bare bones like garbage emulator there is from back in the day. So. With that in mind, it was good. Yeah. Actually, Nestor wasn't that bad of an emulator back in its day. It was it was pretty much the top pick. But I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking twenty years ago. <laughs> so. So, hey, Twiggy, are you ever going to come down? Nope, not just going to hang out up here forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, so I guess that's the end of that, uh, end of the episode, and uh, end of uh, Twiggy Saves the World. End of the episode. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and have a good day, everyone.
Let's go.